and welcome back to my channel and you join me in Chalfont St Giles or maybe I should say you join me in Warmington on Sea because Chalfont St Giles was the filming location for the fictional Dad's Army 1971 film. The filming location was here but the series was made in Thetford. And Chalfont St Giles is absolutely beautiful lovely pond behind me. In fact Chalfont means chalk spring and behind me is the spring and the river Mistbourne which flows through this region of Buckinghamshire and it really is very delightful here on a sunny day. But there are quite a few people who can call Chalfont St Giles their home. Nick Clegg the former Deputy Prime Minister and children's television presenter Brian Kant all have connections here as does the cricketer JT Hearn. He died in, he was playing cricket in the 1890s. He died here in 1944. And uh, Harry Golombek, the former world chess champion and World War II code breaker. He lived here as well, as did the poet John Milton, who died in 1674. And John Laurie, well, he played Private Fraser in Dad's Army and he lived nearby in Chalfont St Peter and along with Little Chalfont and Chalfont St Giles the three villages make up the Chalfont here in Buckinghamshire on the edge of the, uh, the Chiltern Hills. But in this video I'm going to take a look at Warmington-on-Sea, the fictional location for that 1971 film and we'll see what else we can uh, discover here in the village. walking through the village here with that pond, the little village green. It really does tick all the boxes as regards uh, an English village. We are coming to the churchyard. This is the church of St Giles. What a beautiful building. Founded between 1150 and 1180 in the reign of Henry II. Further extensions in the 13th century and the tower dates from 1425. But it's not the church I've actually come to see because there's a particular grave just just ahead of me in the uh, in the churchyard and it's to a rather remarkable man so let's go and try and find his grave and behind me is the grave that I've come to see is to a man called Bertram Mills and he was the great circus empresario and he's buried here with his wife Ethel or Bertram Wagstaff Mills, let's give him his, uh, his, full, uh, his full name. During the World War I he served in the uh, Royal Medical Corps and reached the rank of captain. And when he was discharged he became interested in the circus and in particular Wilkins and Young Circus and uh, he had ideas to start his own and a friend of his gave him a, a wager and bet that he couldn't start and run a successful circus just like Wilkins and Young's. Well he won that wager and he went on to perform his own circus which was hugely successful and he had a big top, elephants and lions and numerous other acts. It was the benchmark circus which all others were to follow. Chipperfields and Billy Smarts in the 1970s all drew their inspiration from Bertram Mills. And just as Billy Smarts and uh, Chipperfields had circus acts on television around Christmas time in the 1970s, so did Bertram Mills uh, from his uh, uh, circus at Olympia every year from London. 
great man, great vision, and he set the benchmark for uh, Big Top Entertainment. And he's buried here, in St Giles Church, in Chalfont St Giles. Now let's head on into the village and discover Warmington-on-Sea, the fictional town featured in the Dad's Army film, released in 1971. It really is a glorious day today. 22 degrees they reckon. I think they're about right. Just a shame it's a little windy. But I've had a walk around. Walked around the church, had a look at the south door. It was absolutely beautiful. It dates from 1330. And I was up to Milton's cottage where the poet John Milton used to live. And there's now a little museum as well. Rather nice looking around uh, the outside of the building there. But I've come down now to the war memorial to the uh, brave soldiers who lost their lives during the First and Second World War. People from Chalfonts and Giles, 54 in the First World War and 34 in the Second. And those included Henry Sanders, who was a rifleman and he died in 1915, aged just 19 years old. And John William Webb, a private in the Gloucester Regiment, he died in 1918, also aged 19. And so many war memorials around the country tell of a similar story. Young servicemen who laid down their lives for others. And some just 18 or 19 years old. And we should always remember our departed on war memorials. But let's get back to uh, why I'm here in Chalfont St Giles because it's the fictional setting for Warmington on Sea and that fantastic Dad's Army film released in 1971. And the beginning of the film shows the bank manager Arthur Lowe walking down the high street in a rather a clever piece to camera where he meets other members of what would be his, his platoon and other characters who will come up in the Dad's Army story. And all these, most of these people had a shop here on the high street in the middle of the village. And the locations are still, still here. We have um, Fruits and Roots, the greengrocers. Well, that was a greengrocers in Dad's army and that was Hodges' store. He was the ARP warden and the nemesis to Captain Mannering. Just down from that was Warner's Butchers. Well, that was Jones's butcher shop in the Dad's Army uh, film, and it's still a butcher's shop today. And further down, Lloyd's Pharmacy. Well, that was Fraser's Undertakers. Captain James Fraser, Scottish Undertaker, who uh, always had a, had a word to say to Captain Mannering. What a brilliant character. And he lived just around the corner in Chalfont St. Peter. Next was um, the post office. Well, of course, that was uh, Elliot's radio store. That's where the uh, various members of the bank, including Sergeant Wilson and Private Pike, or they would be Sergeant Wilson and Private Pike later in the film, went across to listen to the wireless and the Prime Minister announcing that Britain was at war. And it's just lovely to, 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 to be here and stand here where they film those scenes. And I can see the scene in my head now. I've seen the film so many times. It's, and I'm gonna watch it again tonight. I'm sure I will. <laughs> you can just imagine Arthur Lowe right now walking down the, to um, 
that pass the shops, meeting all these wonderful people, all these local shopkeepers who would play their part in the Dad's Army story. <coughs> and of course the series was filmed in Thetford between 1968 and 1977. 83 episodes in total, plus this wonderful film. And after Arthur Lowe had walked, or Mr. Mannering, I should say, had walked down the high street, he went into St. Martin's Bank, which is in re real life the Crown Public House here on the corner. And just around the corner here is the old door that he went through, which is now all blocked up. And uh, the pub actually closed in 2013, briefly became a Costa and is now uh, an independent coffee house. So I'm going to go in there in a minute and uh, have a lovely cup of coffee. But the series, I say, was filmed in Thetford and there's a video on my channel for you to enjoy. And I walk around all the sites, uh, including some of the more well-known ones from, uh, from the series. Absolutely brilliant to see, to see those locations as it is here in Chalfont St Giles. But this is where I end the video. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow my journey. And there'll be another video next week from somewhere else. Thanks for watching.